Burke. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. The fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You want my help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidal back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. You got all the chalky postures. What's already? Look where it cut me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you're less than God, you're fuck. <laughs> Danny was so burned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Danny wants killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's no more stones in the legs of you, there are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your cane, you are caught and run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. Back so soon, then? Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow, head of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's Piss, White Mule, Alley Gin. Poor chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbara has got to suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. And that'll be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. And the Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Uh, Thomas Burke. Came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. And how did Lincoln Clay convince? Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive.
this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known a man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're going to set up ah, the ambush. Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scattered them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You, you head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lad? What's that? My da asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Watch the left side. about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker.
Should have saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. Never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. So I then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Sensor. Sure thing. I'm in Point Verdun and I need a new set of wheels. On a lot. Just getting there warmed up. This is done. You know how to fight. <laughs> Don't 
Four wheels and an engine. You're set. Appreciate it. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May self. This chalky bastard is either. One of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived. With a kind of man that invades rotten damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Lincoln it is, then. It's funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man that's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does it? done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. <laughs> the world fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. point is back under your control. I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But the deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see the Mr. Barbieri. It's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Uh. 